Hey there guys, this is Ultscrunt, we are back for some more XCOM The Long War. In the last episode, we did a UFO that landed. It landed up in Canada, I think. We also did an intel scan. We found out there's uh, some Exalt doing some weird stuff in Canada as well. So, hopefully we'll figure out what's going on there soon. We sent our covert operative for that. Apparently something going off in Australia there. I don't know what that is. But, um... Maybe that's a request. Uh, South Africa. United Kingdom. Mm, I, d I don't know then. Well, to start off the video, I'll do the same thing as I did um, in the last video. Um, if you want to join the team, become part of my XCOM playthrough, you can do so by clicking on the link in the uh, description, which will take you to the first video. And if you go on that video, you can learn how to create your character. And uh, then I'll put him into the game at some point. Just a quick note though, um, I do record these episodes usually two at a time, sometimes three. So sometimes you may be waiting a couple episodes before I can put them in, regardless of if I've got um, enough soldiers to go out or not, as far as new recruits go. So we've got a few things to take care of. We've got um, our things repairing here, and I believe we need to buy some more stuff based on some of the foundry upgrades we did. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy ourselves a another carbine, as along with another laser, and uh, let's also buy another suit of armor. But it's going to benefit us to have extras, you know, judging by some of the stuff it was saying on on the um, foundry, some of the stuff that we can get, like the training and stuff for soldiers in the base. Because we will eventually have to defend the base from aliens. Um, I'm tempted to get another laser pistol. Laser pistol is always useful. But maybe another laser rifle is the way to go. It makes sense. There must be a machine pistol. That's got to be a machine pistol. That's got to be SMG. I can't think of anything else it would be. Right, so... With that, I think we're going to go on our next mission. Which is a alien abduction. We're going to send out a decent sized squad. Got a uh, Ryan that we'll send out. So now Lewis to be a medic. And I think I'll bring a load of our our um, other guys. They're like newish because they need to rank up and catch up to everybody else. I would bring big crit, but I'm not sure about bringing two medics on this mission. It may not benefit us on this mission in particular, but. Um, that's something I'm going to consider for some future missions where I'm going to take multiple medics, I think. Like I did in the other seasons where I started taking more than uh, one medic per mission because we had the resources to do so. And at this moment in time, I shouldn't really do it. I feel like if we're going to have another big mission coming up soon, we should try and keep as many medics and stuff as we can on reserve. So if um, anything big does happen, at least we've got Big Crit, and we've got Steven here to be an extra medic. We've also got Rico Suave if we really want to go that far. Um, let's see Maria as well. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and set everybody up for this mission, and I'll be right back with you. Right guys, I've set everybody up. We've got everybody prepared for the mission. Um, I've had to stretch out the resources we've got because we're kind of in a situation here where I don't know, we're not really in a very good situation with armor and weapons which is why buying some extras earlier should help um, especially since we had to repair some so only four of our guys have got armor and the other four haven't only four of our guys have got laser weapons and the others haven't oh wait no, five of them have but, um, yeah, what I've decided to do is, um, we're going to have our, these four be up front, because they're classes that aren't going to be 
further back. Like we've got our medic who will be behind everybody else. We've got a sniper who will be further in the distance. And we've got our gunner who should be closer. Which will be not as close as these guys will be, but should be there to support. Um, and I've decided to give Lewis a battle rifle because the battle rifle is like the best weapon we've got besides the laser weapons. And that's pretty much all we can do. Oh yeah, and for some reason Jeremiah's armor went all weird when I selected the armor. I think we can actually change the armors. Like the decos. Oh yeah, we can. Kind of weird. Some weird ones though. But I'll leave the rest for now. So anyway guys, let's uh, head out to this mission. See what horrors await us. Dropship has arrived. We're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border. Panic is spreading throughout a major city as the aliens move through the streets. We have to get a handle on this situation. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Well, um... Number one, I hate this map because this map has got terrible locations for being inserted into the map. Um, usually I'm in this corner here, which gives me even less cover. At least this side gives me a bit of cover. Um... Yeah, I've not got much to work with here. A bit more than usual, at least. Um, I guess we'll just try to get people in positions to do stuff. Roger that. Which is easier said than done. Can't use a fire hydrant as like cover. I thought I'd be able to. Getting it done. Here they come. Oh. Great, they're coming down this way, so that means they can flank us. Uh, this is a lose situation. A very lose-lose situation. Hell yeah! Let's put Joel there, because then he can fire from both sides. See, if I put anybody here, they could get flank shotted from that doorway. But these guys might move in anyway, so... This sucks. I hate this map. Moving out. It is an awful map. It has to be one of the worst in the game easily. Oh, what? Apparently we can see a floater. Running. Uh, let's try and dash some other people around, I guess. Lewis, you're going to stay over here right. where it's a bit safer in case somebody goes down. Oh, Let's see how this plays out. I was hoping for a hit. Don't you hit anybody. Whoa. Okay, the car didn't sound fire at least. Okay, that could have gone a lot worse. A heck of a lot worse. Game, James. Very nice. I don't want to move further along here and risk revealing more aliens, or should I just stay holding p p or should I just hold position? Uh, that is the question. I kind of have an idea, but 
Might not Moving. work. I want to try and blow up that cover there. That he's behind. Trying to make it easy for our guys to shoot him. This might destroy Jeremiah's cover though. If I do it just wrong. I think there might do it. Blowing grenade. Well, it revealed one of them. I can bring Joel in. Oh. I should have seen that that thing was on the I should have seen that photo was on Overwatch. Let's get the mutant, he's more dangerous. Are you kidding me? You could have had such an easy kill there. What the hell was that? That's an easy kill. 100% accuracy. I don't know where you're getting that from, but okay. Hostile eliminated. It's down. <laughs> well, that works. Roger, Dodger. It's all worked out in the end. Right Making a lot of noise. Right, guys, I'll be just one second. I'm just going to get a drink because. Actually, no, I've got a drink here. I forgot about it. Because my throat was going all raspy and dry. Ugh. So, how do I want to move up from here? I guess we can move Jeremiah up. On the move. ET in sight. Engaging. Oh my. That is a fair amount of mutants. What to do about this? Um, I don't really want to keep him there because that's kind of a bad position. It may have to do. I'll get him next time. That's where he is stuttered. Um, right, let's get Jeremiah away from there. I don't really want him to be stood right there. Affirmative. Put him up here. Watch that corner. Watch that uh, doorway. I'm gonna move Joel forwards. Can you do anything with a rocket from here? Not really. You can get rid of a lot of cover. Do that. How are you crispy, baby? Because <laughs> that will uh, expose them a little lot more. We should be able to deal with them better. The less cover they've got to use. I'm gonna dash Ryan oh, into yeah. there. Yes, Put Lewis Banks ahead. cover here. Maria. This time there's not more cover for you to use. Guess we'll dash Kinda Maria moment. inside as well. Oh, I could have used this spot. Hmm. Heading to that location. Let's see how this goes. Let's not have any critically wounded people this time. Surprised nobody overwatching could have seen that guy move. Oh, he's a blood call, which sucks. Oh, come on, you big happy! That's all you got? 
<laughs> yeah, Blood Call is kind of sucky because when a mutant uses Blood Call, it powers up all the other mutants around it. it gives him like stat flag. boosts and stuff. I'm, I'm right. surprised they went for that shot when he's got no cover. Where did you come from? Take cover. You sneaky bugger. Well, let's use Lewis to take care of him. That was a very good move from him. I don't appreciate that. Could James make me proud? There we go. I'm on it, Commander. So we've got a sectoid? No. Some meld down the street. Adjusting sights. Could see it in the distance. This should kill him. Oh, that definitely killed him. I'm about to start keeping score. Now that was a good hit. Another one bites the dust. All right, Joel. Let's move you away because you need some health. Come on it. Well, something broke. There's a meld right in front of that doorway there. <laughs> Ooh, get him, Joel. Get him. Yes. Ah, the train still got the moves, baby. Right, let's get Joel behind this piece of cover here. Have a reload, and then we'll heal him up. Try and prevent any. Nothing's broken. You're fine. We'll try and prevent him being out wounded for as long as possible. And I'm tempted to get this meld. Copy that. That's what we're looking for. Got it. I wonder if we can actually open his door as well and fire through. Oh no, I can't. Can I toss a grenade through though? Kind of. Let's do it. Eat this. Actually, I should have reused the thing. I hit something else over there. Skin, it's quiet or quietish. Seems a fire stopped on all the walls, so I don't think we'll see any more holes bursting through. There is a meld up there in the rafters. How would we even get up there without a jetpack? That's insane. I didn't even know you could have got to spawn up there. I only looked up there because I saw this hole here in the wall, like reaching up here. Yeah, there it is. Just there. So it's just kind of curious to see, but um, I can't get up there without a skeleton suit, I think. Or a jetpack. Because a skeleton suit has like a grappling hook. Or um, without being genetically modified to jump higher. But that could be a sneaky spot to shoot enemies from, like up there, for example. Something to keep in mind for future. <laughs> Uh oh, this is what I feared. Covering fire. No. Ah, uh, shot wide. Ammo fast. Okay, miss. Incoming fire. 
I'm glad he missed. I'm not really sure how you can see him from that position, but I'll take it. There's blood on the wall some more, I guess. Remove Ready some out. more cover. You're not very threatening, Mr. Mutant now, are you? Right, let's heal, um... Heal Joel one more time. Nothing's broken. You're fine. And then we can move him in back into battle. Nothing's overwatching, is it? No. On it. Wow, he's got a lot of... Like, the aim is real low on him, considering where he is. My mama could kill your weak ass! <laughs> uh, Jeremiah can't really do anything from this position. I do wonder if this is the last alien, though. I've got a feeling there's one more muton or one more photo. Guns dry. Gun is dry. Negative. All Negative mission objectives completed. There we go, they're all dead. Nice. And I don't think any of the meld expired either, so we're gonna get a bunch of meld, which is nice. Got quite a few rank ups going on. Dying Druid. Right, so. Ryan's been promoted to Lieutenant Free, apparently. Oh, you got you got Mayhem, which would be really nice, actually. Opportunist, which is again really nice. Tactical Sense. That's okay. I think I'm going to go with Mayhem because Mayhem's great. It will um, increase the damage range of explosives. Um, more tiles get like destroyed by it. Um, any LMGs or anything. Like can damage. Uh... Oh man, look at all the stats coming up in the mayhem box below. That is so good. They've added so much. To that. But anyway, it's pretty much going to just make everything better. It's awesome. Kind of want that shock and awe one because so many shots with rockets, more rockets, javelin rockets. Extra conditioning is a good one. I don't know if I'm going to get out of Ryan. But uh, basically, it, like, gives you just tons more health. So, heat warheads could be pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to do that for a ranger. Heat warheads would make more sense based on how many mechanical enemies we're going to run into in the future. Um, let's give James low profile, which will give him, like, more defense. And luckily Joel isn't out for a very long time with his uh, wound. Remember, we will be watching... Now, because of that mission, let's buy another suit of armor. And let us get another laser rifle. And then, as usual, let's do a quick save. So that we can, you know. Avoid any crashes. Um, 
And uh, I think we didn't get anything to sell that mission, did we? Just more corpses, I think. Got a bunch of mutant corpses now. Right, let's scan. Content detected. Oh wow, straight away. No interceptors is available. I think it's going to take down a satellite. And there's our genetics lab. About time. Operational. So I guess the question comes up now. Who wants to be genetically modified? Commander, the genetics lab is now prepped and fully staffed. We can begin genetic modification of our soldiers on your order. This facility will be the nerve center of our genetic modification program. Our soldiers will receive entirely new capabilities, making them more effective on the battlefields than ever before. As we improve our understanding of alien genetics, the range of available modifications will expand. Now, I don't know if everybody put this down in the original post they did for their characters, but if you would like a genetic modification of any kind, let me know. I'll, I'll show you real quick. Oh, we've only got two unlocked at the moment. We've got to perform some more autopsies so we can uh, unlock the others, but basically, Everybody's going to get upgrades if they um, have the gene mods. It gives them like extra aim or less fatigue, I guess. There's a new thing on there. Um, but there's other ones that are given like abilities to jump on top of things and get higher up, um, run faster, stuff like that. I think. So it'd be interesting to see that in use. I believe that once you put somebody into the G-Mod thing, they are out of action for five days? At least in the original game they were. Who knows with uh, Long War. It the could be out for a while. The substance has been enormously valuable in advancing our theories on genetic modification. So far, we've been limited to the augmentation of existing human organs. With the latest autopsy results, we now have the option of incorporating alien physiology into our genetic enhancement programs. It may be asking too much of our soldiers. They will be even more capable on the battlefield. Got some new options here that I didn't see before, like alien bio-cybernetics. Bio I imagine that's for um, if we turn our soldiers into mechs. But um, I don't even know why I'm doing this because we have. I've, I was thinking that was our research thing. That was just a facility that was built. Um, but I think once this research is done, we'll start doing some of these autopsies to get some of the other options unlocked in the gene lab, and uh, we'll go from there. I'm looking forward to getting mechs as well. I don't know when that'll be. Excavation complete. A UFO has bombed civilian targets in Mexico, increasing panic. Didn't really increase the panic that much. Uh, what was that? Excavation is complete. Just need a power plant before we can do anything else. Yep, let's have that extra engineer. Because I think we need 30. The new engineers arrived yeah. this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. And real quick, I just want to check this out. Uh, yeah, we don't have our next power thing yet. Five more days, we get more power. Then we can start building some other facilities. That'll be good. Security training, that's good. So is the armor training. Ooh. What is this? Oh, I think this is our extra workshop. That means we'll get more engineers. Additional workshop online. Nice. That, that should increase our engineer count as well. Or something like that. I can't remember what it does. Exactly. Um, let me just check by going on here. Reduces item cost by 10%. That's good. Gives a 10% refund on materials, which is good as well. Material. Multiple workshops have diminishing returns and discounts. Refunds cannot exceed 50%. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. 
they're all connected as well, they all benefit each other, which is nice. Um, yeah, let's just continue as we're going. Contact detected. Intercept is still unavailable. Well, we've got a new request from China. Satellite transfer. Don't have any satellites. Operative is ready. I guess we'll be doing that next time. But let's see what these next 48 hours hold for us. Huh, <laughs> yes. More scientists is good. Completed repairs on a carbine. Got Lewis back. Got Chug back. Zeno Road. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Arc thrower available. That means we can capture aliens, but we don't have a thing to put aliens in when we capture them, so. Yeah. Let's get a Thin Man that autopsy first. The tall one has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, we seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. Now, I know for a fact that Finman gives us the, um, one of the options in here, which I'll show you real quick. Uh, it's on the legs. Gives them an ability to like become stretchy or something like that. I can't remember what it is exactly, but it gives them an ability to jump. So they can jump on top of like um, crates, buildings, ledges, balconies, etc. Which is a really useful skill. Aircraft boosters. So what does that one do? We want like some more things actually here. Yeah. I think. Oh wait, no, we didn't. I thought we did. Now the boosters sold in here. Trekking boost. It might be worth getting one of these because these things are useful. Um, it gives advanced targeting on the UFOs when we're trying to shoot them down. I should really get some more interceptors when I get chance. Some more armor. Yo, know, I don't think we should do any more time because the more time we're using up there, uh, the less time we're gonna have between people getting fatigued and coming back into the action, so we'll leave it there. So guys, um, thank you for watching this episode of XCOM. If you liked it, um, yeah, let me know. And if you want to become part of the team, uh, leave me a comment on the first video, which you can find by going into the description and clicking on the link that, that takes you to the first video. Where you can design your character and tell me what you want your character to be like, etc, etc, etc. Thank you for watching everybody, and I will see you all later for some more XCOM.